I'm back with another example, example number four, guys. Again, you can see that this is an implicit function where x's and y's are all mixed up. And in this example, I also have a log function and an exponential function. So if we can apply the idea of implicit differentiation with uh, trig functions or algebraic functions, we should also be able to apply it to the logs or exponential functions, for that matter, any type of a function. So guys, again, we're not gonna to try to solve explicitly for y. All we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, apply derivative on both sides. And again, uh, I forgot to mention that we want to find the dy over dx. And that's usually what we want to find in each of these cases. Let me make sure that's exactly, yeah, that's exactly what we want to find. So guys, applying derivative on both sides and there's gonna be a lot of steps. Let us uh, watch out for each step carefully, write out each step carefully, and then we'll be able to eventually evaluate dy over dx. So applying derivative on both sides, it's gonna be d over dx of ln of xy plus y squared on the left-hand side, and I have to apply the derivative on the right-hand side as well d over dx of e to the power y. Keep in mind y is in turn a function of x, okay? So keeping that in mind, now applying derivative. Guys, we know the derivative of a log function is uh, one is the inverse function, one over that. So for this particular function, the derivative is, we're gonna start by writing the derivative as one over xy plus y squared. Guys, that is the basic derivative of a log function. It is the inverse of whatever is inside here with the parentheses. If this was an x, then we have just one over x and that's it, we are done. But here we have something more complex than an x. So what we do is we use the idea of a chain rule, which simply means we got to multiply by d over dx of the inner. And guys, inner has two pieces, xy plus y square. In this step, I'm not going to try to evaluate the derivative. All I'm writing is I'm executing that first piece and then I'm multiplying by the d over dx of the inner. Guys, on the right hand side, I think we can already start evaluating the derivative. We again know that the derivative of an exponential function is the exponential function itself. So it's going to be just e to the power y, but y in turn is a function of x and we are, we are trying to find the derivative with respect to x. So that means uh, we have to multiply by the derivative of the inner. In this case, that would be multiplying by the derivative of the exponent. So it is just simply multiplying by dy over dx okay guys that is step number two now moving on i'm going to rewrite this one over xy plus y squared and then guys i'm going to have a parenthesis here because there's two terms so i'm going to break it down it's d over dx of x times y again we can see it's a product so one has to use the product rule on that but i'm going to do it in steps guys d over dx of y squared again doing it in steps not trying to go ahead uh, so so that i don't make any mistakes guys here we should be fine just rewriting this uh, e to the power y dy over dx. Moving on, guys, here from the left hand side, again, I just have to rewrite this xy plus y squared. And then for this, I have to use the power rule. This, sorry, not the power rule, I mean, I have to use the product rule f times g. So it is derivative of x is 1 times y. And then plus, I have to find the derivative of y, which you just have to write the dy over dx. That's all you have to do for that. Then times and x. Don't forget that x, the f function. Guys, plus, uh, you know what? I have to have another parenthesis, a bigger parenthesis. So I leave these two in parentheses, and then I have another bigger parenthesis here. Plus, guys, I have to work with the derivative of this. This is, again, 2 times y using the power rule, but we cannot just stop right there. You got to multiply by the derivative of the y with respect to x or derivative of the inner because this is like this okay and what is on the right hand side well close that parentheses right because we started this one and we got to close that one guys this is e to the power y and dy over dx now uh, since we want dy over dx by itself so what we are going to do is guys we are going to already i'm going to get rid of this these parentheses right from here y times one is just y so i don't have to uh, write that one Guys, I have to multiply first. I cannot just avoid that. I have to distribute this with each of these terms, right? Or you know what? Uh, yeah, uh, let me, let us, let us first, uh, I'm, I'm thinking if there's any easier way of uh, doing it rather than just multiplying this whole thing, but it seems like one has to multiply that. There's, there's no other way. So guys, we have to multiply. So let's go ahead and multiply this or distribute this thing. So multiplying carefully, it's y over xy plus y square that is the first term then plus x over xy plus y square right and then uh, there's dy over dx right we can see that dy over dx 
and then plus uh, again we have to multiply this it's 2y over uh, xy plus y square and then times dy over dx and then guys on the right hand side what do I have I have e to the power y e to the power y and then also dy over dx dy over dx guys from here what I am seeing is that I have three terms that have a dy over dx with them two on the left hand side one on the right hand side and then this term does not have a dy over dx so we want to have all the terms with dy over dx on one side and the rest of them to the, on the other side here uh, this term you know what I'm going to do I'm going to take keep this term right here or maybe you know what uh, let me take this to the other side and I'll, I'll bring this to the left hand side I mean you can do either way so I'm bringing this term to this side so this is what this is how it's going to look like uh, I will have x over xy plus y square I have a dy over dx I'm still trying to write all the steps I don't want to make any mistakes then 2y over again xy plus y square dy over dx and guys when I bring this term to the left hand side it's going to be minus obviously it's going to be minus e to the power e to the power y and then I have my dy over dx dy over dx and that is going to be equal to when I bring this to that right hand side it's going to be minus right it's the same term but with the negative sign minus y over xy plus y square right so before I move on guys I can see that there's an xy plus y square here same thing here same thing here how about if I uh, actually get a common denominator so that we can just completely get rid of that or the other way of doing that is I can multiply both sides by xy plus y square that way I can get rid of the denominators okay uh, guys there's more than one ways of doing it but I think it seems easier to actually multiply both sides by this xy plus y square so if I multiply left hand side and the right hand side by that what's going to happen when I multiply it to this term xy plus y square will cross out I will be left with x times dy over dx then the next term will be plus uh, I will have just 2y left because this will again cross out and what else do I have dy over dx but guys for the third step there's nothing that will cross out so we have to actually multiply so it's going to be e to the y times xy plus y square and then this has to be multiplied by dy over dx guys I'm doing it only to get rid of the denominators because most of the terms have the same denominator so it makes sense to just cancel it out by multiplying both sides by the same denominator well here it just crosses out it crosses out here as well for the second term but for the third term it does not cross out so we just have to multiply it or write it out the right hand side it will cross out with the denominator I'm only left with negative y fine now we have this dy over dx here dy over dx here dy over dx and what do we do with it we just take it out as a common factor why because that is what we want to evaluate so we take dy over dx as a common factor and then whatever is left just goes inside that parentheses so that's x for this term then 2y guys I'm not really doing anything special here I'm just taking I just, once I take out the dy over dx then I'm just writing what is left inside the parentheses which is all these terms x plus 2y minus e to the power y xy plus y square uh, we don't really have to distribute this we can leave it like that and then that equals to negative y so I have to still close that parentheses because I have this parentheses so I got to close that as well guys to get the dy over dx you got to divide both sides by this whole thing x plus 2y minus e to the power y xy plus y square on the left hand side as well x plus 2y minus e to the power y xy plus y square right so finally guys I'm going to finally write my dy over dx that's what we wanted to evaluate uh, and it's a very like it's a very ugly function but that is what happens usually when we have a very more complex or implicit functions the derivatives usually are not too like simple functions they're also kind of complex uh, so this equals to negative y divided by x plus 2y minus e to the power y xy plus y squared 
guys if i was doing it like as a student uh, i would actually and actually when i actually did it when i saw these examples on my own in my notes i once i get the final answer i go back and check my work to make sure that i did not make any mistakes and guys that is something i would encourage each of my students to do uh, you should go back and check your work before you are completely sure that the answer is correct so guys uh, i'm going to look at my notes and see if i have the same thing so i got negative y and then I have this, this, this. Yes, I got the same thing in my notes. So I'm also convinced that this is the right answer. So guys, this is number four. I'm also going to show you one more example uh, in this section. And then if uh, you, you need more help with these types, I will show more examples. But for now, guys, I wanted to show five examples. This is number four. I will see you in the next video with example number five.